so I get my jobs off of this, this list, basically. Now, if there is no jobs, I have to make a job. I go and create a job. A big part of my job is controlling noise in the return spectrum. This is the whole return spectrum on a spectrum analyzer. This is the minimum hold. This is the max hold. See, noise this high really impedes in service. You can pretty much see from here to the top of the modems. These, this area in here is, is where all the modems hit. So these spikes hit in here are modem spikes. These spikes here are, are just noise and crap that interfere with the modems. Actually, they only interfere with the modems if they're in the spectrum of the modems, which is from here to here. There's actually two modem stacks. This, this is one, and this is another one. And we're using different forms of QAM on these two stacks. So different, the modem can grab it from one stack or the other to my spectrum. And i got to control this noise. This morning when I looked at it, this black line, which is the active live line, was all the way up here, really impinging on modems badly. And um, this node was in the red. I go to maps. See, and some of these nodes will show in red. This is still showing in red because it hasn't updated. But the, if they're green, they're good. If they're orange, yellow, they're bad. If they're in red, of course, it's serious. Still showing me an alert here. The noise must have sparked up again and died again. So I'll be looking for that noise. This is one of our tools, though. The other mystery tool I got is, and this is really bizarre, advanced shit. This is something they dropped on us recently. Oh, hell, and it grays out on me. I really hate it when it does that. This uses fast Fourier transforms and impulse data from the modems. And it can show you all kinds of crazy shit. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if you've seen these spectrum analyzers for audio that can just use a pulse. And they just pulse your speakers. And they can tell you the whole frequency response, the whole system from the, a freaking pulse using fast Fourier transforms. That's kind of what this does. Damn it, I hate it when it grays out like this. It was working earlier today. Uh, I'll have to load it up and explore. But I get all these signatures. Shrink it down a little. See, this is the lake that I'm around here, and this is what this node serves. There's some different signatures that are correlate with these colors. And you get a wave pattern like this because there's a reflection somewhere. None of these are that bad, though. I worked a lot of this out last time I came out here. Got it working pretty well. You can also do an ETDR. It actually tells you where the fault is to a point. So I can grab a specific modem. And I can look at what kind of reflections he's seeing and his modem is seeing. I can look at all this data. This is the most useful, well, not the most useful anymore, but this is the first tool they gave us way back when we got in the digital um, for the forward, and now we're using the return, too. This is what the modem's data from the modem's coming back to the system looks like. And they got to fall within these quadrants. I don't know if you know how quantum works. The data points got to fall within a quadrant to be recognized. If they fall outside the quadrant, they're error. And this is before correction, this is after correction. So you can see what the modems are really able to correct for a lot of... Some of these, in a bad area, this will look like noise. The whole screen will look like noise. Then you go to correction, and they'll be pretty good. You can see this is correcting pretty well. That's what I do for a living, though, is fight noise. Well, it's a good part of what I do for a living. It's fight noise and reflections is a big part of what I do. I want to look for ingress and, uh, of course, if I, there's damage, I got to fix that too. And frequency response problems, and water, and a zillion other things. A snapshot of what I do, though.
Again, these are our modems responding back. This is the noise crap they're trying to talk over. We've got two different stacks working in two different ways. They actually have a different uh, qualm on their uploads, although we're putting a tighter qualm in that one stack that's lower. I wanted to show you, you asked about the leakage detector though. That's this little guy here, this guy. It's actually showing a reading right now, though it's not going off. And if you look under it, it says noise. That's why it's not going off. It tries to distinguish between leakage and noise. It cues off a certain frequency. It's about mid-range in our uh, spectrum. A little in the higher mid-range of our spectrum. And I can grab it. See, it charges off the, uh, hooks up to an antenna on the outside of the truck. And it charges off the truck, but I can also pull it out. And then it folds out a dipole, like that. And uh, there's an antenna in each end of this thing that you can pull out further. So, you know, forms a dipole. You see, I can go to any customer. I'm actually out this way, down the south. I think my noise is coming from, even though I got more reds over here, but I click on a customer, I can see this customer is in the red because his um, modem isn't receiving much signal. And if I had a bunch of those in one area, I would think I had a problem. But just one means probably the guy's got an issue in his house. But if I see a bunch of these that are, you know, red, all have the same issue going on. So here these levels are pretty good. I wanted to grab somebody down here and so I can grab his IP address or his MAC address rather oh I hate that when that happens uh. stupid compass thing uh, comes up and I can't grab the IP address then uh, I want somebody way down on Sweeter. And uh, what's the name of that road? Swan Svensson. Grab somebody on Svensson. Copy his MAC address. He has MAC address. Then I can go over here. Pop in this guy's address, who I selected kind of at random. Some modems report less than other modems. And if they don't give us all the data, then. Uh, you know, we've got all kinds of old modems. We're, we're discontinuing the Doxus 1 modems are have just been turned off. Some people own their own modems, so it's kind of a big deal to turn off modems when they're obsolete. We still have Doxus 1.1 modems out there. Uh, the new thing is Doxus 3. I don't know if there's a 3.1 or something too. I think there is already. Well, anyway, I shouldn't show you anybody's IP address. It's technically a file of privacy data. I'll show you anybody's account data here. But I wanted to show you these uh, constellations, because that's what you were talking about before. See, in the distortion and noise, jitter, and stuff like that, I'll tend to make these the dots not go right in the middle of their, their little uh, areas they're supposed to be in. So this is before correction. This is after equalization and correction. And you can see it does quite a bit to straighten that mess out. This is actually a pretty good constellation. This isn't very nasty at all. Some of these look like noise. You know, the pre-equalization will look just like a field full of noise. And you look at post and it'll look like this. It's pretty cool. I can straighten all that out. Here's that same kind of spectrum view. See, I found my noise. That shouldn't be there. Yeah, that shouldn't be there either. That doesn't really hurt me so much. This stuff's under the modem, though. And here you'll see a modem fire once in a while. Let's see a vertical line up here. That's what my test equipment shows me. I'm up here, way above my truck. You can see I'm in the middle of a field. Actually, I'm at the edge of a field. I'm not too far from a road. 
It still gets to be a, quite a chore to get to in the winter though. The snow's deep. It can be tough to get to one of these amps. It's one of the newer amps I don't like as much. Got a variety of test points. Equalizers. Splitter. Attenuator pad. My noise is out here though. I've determined that my noise is off of this leg three or four, which are these two legs that are off the splitter. Unfortunately this amp doesn't give me a test point for the individual legs. One of the reasons I don't like this type of amp. But that's what I gotta deal with. Bunch of modems just flared. See those? Those vertical lines flaring up, those are modems. And the crap below is the noise that they're trying to talk over. Which isn't too bad. It's not too noisy out here. But it's one of my worst nodes right now. We're, we're pretty clean right now.